Now we all know how uh, damaging plastic is for the planet. Well, one group of school children from Hull is doing something about it. Over recent months, they've collected tens of thousands of plastic bottle tops and cashed them in to pay for furniture, play equipment and even special lessons in recycling. Our environment correspondent Paul Murphy explains. At Bude Park Primary School, they're making an early start on their Christmas decorations. So you're going to need some bottle tops first. Has anyone got This workshop's being run by a waste management company, and the children have bought the session by collecting plastic bottle tops. Thousands of them. In, through the classes, we've all got a box, and any bottle tops you bring in, you can put in the boxes, and then once yours is full, you bring it to a school council member, and we bring them to one of the bigger bins. Our planet and its wildlife are struggling with discarded plastics, some of which can take a century or more to decompose. In just six months, these children have managed to collect nearly half a tonne of plastic. And the aim of this scheme is to turn something of no value into a form of currency. The bottle tops have also been exchanged for classroom furniture, made, of course, from recycled plastic. We're just trying to get them in the mindset that we don't always have to go out and buy something brand new. Part of our business is we recycle. We close the loop on recycling. As we always say, the children are our future, which is literally they are going to take on this planet, so we need them to get involved and we want recycling to be fun and actually something they want to be a part of. In some ways, this is back to the future. Glass bottle return schemes were commonplace before the arrival of plastic disposables. So it's really good from a recycling point of view that the children are realising that those things can be recycled they're obviously making the decorations now, which is great, out that they can realise they don't have to buy things, they can recycle and use them again. We can help save the environment, because if, like, crisp wrappers and bottle tops stay on, like, like on streets, then animals can smell food on it. It's such a good scheme because it saves the environment from um, plastic pollution. Some here are as young as seven, but have a sobering level of awareness of what's happening to our planet. This scheme could soon be offered to many more children in the city. Paul Murphy, BBC Look North, at Bude Park Primary School. Bizarrely, the bottles we used to take back as uh, youngsters were uh, called Corona. I'm sure some will uh, remember those. Well done to the uh, pupils of uh, Bude Park Primary for that. Keep up the uh, good work. I'm sure they're tuned in and uh, watching the programme tonight. Don't forget, if you've got uh, a story that you think we should be putting on the TV on your programme one night, drop me an email, give me the details and also uh, a phone number as well. Now, tonight's